a mass vaccination centre and not a wrinkle in sight. From now, jabs are being offered to adults as young as 18. Yeah, I'm feeling fine, happy that I'm trying to get back to normal. Yeah, finally. Really glad to get my first one and be on the way to being protected. Yeah. That just means if I go out, I know I'm at least partially covered from getting it. If you haven't had a jab and you haven't got plans this weekend, the NHS will be happy to see you. For the millions of people uh, in their 20s and 30s who haven't yet taken up that offer, make this weekend the moment when you come forward and get that protection for you, for your friends, that keeps us all safe and hopefully gives us our summer back. Delta variant cases continue to rise with rates still highest here in the northwest. Numbers in hospitals have gone up, but fewer are dying from COVID than before. There are very slight increases in the numbers of deaths, but uh, this is what you'd expect with a highly transmissible, more pathogenic virus and the variant of the virus. But it gives us great comfort that it actually has been weakened, the link between the cases and the deaths. And that should be reassuring to all of us, as well as it's a signal and a message that this is the time to get two doses of the vaccine. Public Health England says cases of the Delta variant have risen by 33,000 in a week to almost 76,000. A total of 806 people have been admitted to hospital with it, but only 84 have received both doses of the vaccine, just over 10% showing full vaccination works as expected around 90% of the time. And the question as to whether the Delta variant will lead to a huge surge in cases remains open. Daily case numbers are up, but the Office for National Statistics survey suggests the rate of growth may have slowed. Take that with an element of caution, because of course it, the, the Delta variant is growing at slightly different rates in different parts of the country. It always takes a while for it to become established. So um, we really need to see kind of this behaviour repeated over maybe a week or two before we have more confidence as to what we might expect to see. Today's survey reveals cases are by far the lowest in Wales. The First Minister today followed England and Scotland in delaying reopening plans. Our scientific advisers believe that the United Kingdom is now at the pre-peak stage of a third wave of this pandemic. Wales may be two to three weeks behind what is happening in England and in Scotland, where tens of thousands of cases have now been confirmed. Each jab will have an impact on the size of that third wave and how many people it will carry into hospital, but by how much? We'll just have to wait a few more weeks to find out. Tom Clark, News at 10.